Hello everyone, we're going to continue with chapter 11 and we're going to talk about pressure at depth. To celebrate June Dairy Month, the local Chamber of Commerce wants to build an open tube barometer full of milk. If the density of milk is 1.03 times 10 to the third kilograms per cubic meter, what will be the height of this barometer on a day when the pressure is standard atmospheric pressure. Okay, so we are going to use the pressure at depth equation. And so the pressure is going to be equal to the atmospheric, so the density of the fluid, the acceleration of gravity, and the height of the column. And we want to know the height of the column. So that is going to be our unknown. Um, the height is our unknown. The pressure is going to be one atmosphere. And we're going to have to choose our units carefully after we figure out what else we're going to use. Um, acceleration of gravity is our old friend, 9.8 meters per second squared. And the density of milk for this milk barometer is going to be 1.03 times 10 to the third kilograms per meter cubed. And I made this up. I don't know if they'd ever do this, but it sounds kind of cool. Now, if we're going to use meters, seconds, kilogram, meters cubed, what units of pressure are going to be the most useful when converting, or excuse me, canceling said units? Probably Pascals. And one standard unit of atmospheric pressure is going to, if you look on the constant sheets I gave you, it's going to be 1 Pascal, 1.013 times 10 to the fifth pascals is equivalent to one atmosphere. Then it is a simple matter of algebra to get height alone. We're going to divide both sides by density and acceleration of gravity. So height is going to be the pressure divided by density and gravity. Let's pull this down, give ourselves a little wiggling room. Um, and the height of the column will be the atmospheric pressure in Pascals, 1.013 times 10 to the fifth Pascals divided by the density of milk, 1.03 times 10 to the third kilograms per meter cubed. And that is also times the acceleration of gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. And let's pick up a calculator, see what we get. 1.013 times 10 to the fifth divided by 1.0, I don't know if I entered that right, 1.013 times 10 to the fifth divided by 1.03 times 10 to the third. Um, and then divided by 9.8, and I got something like 10.04 meters in height. Now, if you are a unit fiend and you go, what the heck happens with all these units? Let's just take a moment and do that. A Pascal is equivalent to a the, it comes from the definition of pressure, which is force per unit area, or newtons per meter squared. So this gets kind of messy. Um, I don't honestly recommend doing this all the time, not unless it just makes your heart happy. So we're going to have Pascals, which are newtons per meter squared. And then in the bottom, we're going to have a kilogram. The sub-basement means it comes up top. That's meters cubed. The bottom, we're going to have meters. And in the sub-basement, we have seconds squared. So that comes up top. And that's still not as clean as it could be because a newton, let's transform the newton into a kilogram meter per second squared. That's what a newton is equivalent to. And now let's see what happens. Kilograms cancel kilograms. Second squared cancels second squared. One meter here cancels one meter there. Meters cubed is meters three times. Meters two squared over here. So we're going to end up with one meter. Hot diggity dog, it works. But it's really kind of messy. But we do end up with meters. Wanted to prove to you that I didn't just pull that out of the ether. Number nine, here goes. What's the difference in blood pressure in millimeters of mercury between the top of the head and the bottom of the feet of a person 1.6 meters tall? So that is the a person standing up can be considered like a column of fluid. 
from the top of the head to the bottom of the feet is 1.60 meters of height. Um, the density of blood is 1.05 times 10 to the third kilograms per cubic meter. And we want to know the blood pressure difference in the difference in pressure in um, millimeters of mercury. So that's what we are looking for. So what are we going to do about this? Well, we're going to do this in using the pressure at depth equation. Pressure at depth is going to be density of the fluid, acceleration of gravity, and the height of the column of fluid. So the difference in pressure from top to bottom is going to be the density of the fluid, which is going to be the blood, 1.05, times 10 to the third kilograms per cubic meter, acceleration of gravity, 9.80 meters per second squared, height 1.6 meters. Now if I grab a calculator and pull all that up, what do we get? 1.05 times 10 to the third times 9.8 times 1.6. When I do that, I ended up with an answer of Let's pull this down so I have some wiggly room here. I end up with an answer of 16,464. Now what unit should this be? If I'm working in all MKS units, kilogram meters and seconds, this shall be in Pascals. And the question said, give this to us please in millimeters of mercury. So now it's a, a little conversion. So 16,464 Pascals, look on your conversion sheet, get rid of Pascal's, go to millimeters of mercury, and there are 760 millimeters of mercury in 1.013 times 10 to the fifth Pascal's, and so times 760 divided by 1.03 times 10 to the fifth, and I get 122 millimeters of mercury when I do this. Um, and that's carrying these through and then multi and then dividing, do, 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 excuse me, rounding off to three sig figs at the very end. Okay, next one, next one, next one, next one is Pascal's famous bursting barrel demonstration. We talked about this in our lectures. Um, he would insert a thin tube into an oak barrel. Let us suppose the oak, oak barrel lid had an area of 0.2 square meters and was filled with water. So the area we're dealing with is 0 0.20 square meters and is filled with water. So we're going to have a fluid. The density of water is 1.00 times 10 to the third uh, kilograms per cubic meter. A long thin tube of cross-sectional area is inserted into a hole at the center of the lid. So we've got a tiny, really tall, thin tube that's into the top of the lid of a big oak barrel. This tiny tube has a cross-sectional area of 5.0 times 10 to the negative fifth, very thin tube, meters squared. Water is poured into the tube. So water is poured into the tube and it reaches 12 meters in height. So this column has a height of 12 meters, eventually causing the barrel to give way and burst. So we end up with this bursting barrel. What was the weight of the water in the thin tube? So the first part of this experiment, what was the weight of the water in the thin tube? Well, in order to do that, I'm going to give myself some room down here for part A, weight of water. I am going to look at finding the volume of water in a cylinder, okay, in the cylindrical tube, in the cylindrical tube. Now, the volume of a cylinder, the volume of a cylinder is going to be area times height. That's how you find the volume of a cylinder. Now the area of that cylinder was 5.0 times 10 to the negative fifth 
meters squared, and it had a height of 12 meters. So when I multiply those together, I get 6.0 times 10 to the negative 4 cubic meters, and that is the volume of that thin tube. Okay, so I need that first. Then, in order to find the weight of it, I'm going to use my density equation. So density is mass divided by volume. I have to find the mass of that water in order to find its weight. So mass is going to be density multiplied by volume. The density of water is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. That's the density of plain water. The volume in the tube is 6 times 10 to the negative 4 meters cubed. And when I multiply that together, I get a mass of 0 0.60 kilograms. The question then is, what is the weight? And as you know, weight is another way of saying force of gravity, is mass times acceleration of gravity. So 0.6 kilograms times our old friend 9.8 meters per second squared is going to give me 5.88 newtons. So that's the first part. What is the weight of the column of the water in the tube? Part B says this. What is the pressure of the water in the tube? So what pressure is exerted on the pipe? So the pressure is going to be pressure at depth, density, height, acceleration of gravity. So this is going to be the density of water, 1,000 kilograms per uh, cubic meter. It's the density of water. The height of the column is 12 meters, and the acceleration of gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. When I do all of that, I end up with 118,000 pascals. That's going to be the pressure exerted by the water in the tube. The next part says, la -di -da, what is the net force on the barrel due to the water pressure? And give your answer in pounds. I'm going to do this part up here because I have a little more space. Well, as you know, pressure is force divided by area. Well, there is 118,000. Um, oh, I'm sorry, la -di -da, I'm solving for force. So force is going to be equal to pressure times area. So this is going to be a pressure of 118,000 pascals. And we are told that this is spread over the entire area of the lid of the cask of 0 0.20 meters squared. And so the force on the barrel is going to be 23,000 520 newtons, but I've got to convert that to pounds. 23,520 newtons. Get rid of newtons. Go to pounds. And there's 4.45 newtons in one pound. And I end up with just about 5,300 pounds. Uh, that's a lot of poundage. And hence, the, carol, the big barrel breaks. All right, that will do, and we'll see you later.